Hello students, how are you all? Hope you all are well and safe. Uh, so today in this video we are going to discuss about uh, the topic how to change the background of your desktop or PC. Okay, the background wallpaper, how to change the background wallpaper of your desktop or PC. And next we will discuss uh, the components of a window. Okay, so please have a look in the screen which I am showing you over here. Children, how to change the background of a desktop? You know, how to change the background of a desktop? See here. The picture that appears on my desktop, you can see here, the, uh, the picture that appears as a background of a desktop, it is called the wallpaper, okay. Just as we change uh, the pictures on the walls of our uh, room from time to time, we can also change the wallpaper of our desktop from time to time, okay. Now see, we can choose to display our own picture or a picture from the window gallery as a wallpaper. See here, we have, to, uh, we have to go through these following steps to change the wallpaper of your desktop. See, first of all you have to make a right click anywhere on the blank area of a desktop. See this is the blank area, on this blank area, any, anywhere on this blank area you can make a right click and a shortcut menu will be appeared. Uh, see here this is the shortcut menu and in this shortcut menu see this personalize option, this is the personalize option, you have to make a click on this personalize option. Again I am showing you have to make a right click anywhere on the blank area of the desktop a shortcut menu will be appeared and in this shortcut menu you have to make a right click on the personalize option okay a personalization settings window will open see here this window opened this is this window is known as the personalization settings window got it here in this window you can see there is a left panel in this left panel a background option is there you have to make a click on this background option and select any picture from here see the picture list is given you have to select any picture from here and that picture will be applied as a wallpaper on your desktop background got it now uh, except of uh, selecting uh, these pictures from this list you can also select pictures from outside this list also okay um, you have to make a browse you have, to, uh, you have to click on this browse button and you can select any picture you can choose any other picture on the computer that is uh, stored okay mm, the picture that you choose you, and you see I'm, I'm choosing any picture from my computer mm, and suppose I'm selecting this picture and uh, applying this picture is applied as a desktop background or wallpaper okay so it is uh, not there that you have to select uh, the uh, the images which are given in the window only you can also select other pictures from your computer also to apply it as a wallpaper of the desktop i am showing it again how to select any picture from your computer to uh, to select it uh, I mean uh, to apply it as a wallpaper you can see here I'm clicking on this browse button after clicking on this browse button this window open and in this window you have to select the location where your pictures are there okay you have to select this location suppose my uh, my pictures are in this drive I'm selecting see these are my pictures and I'm selecting any one of the picture and opening it and see this picture is applied okay this is a very easy method you can do it in your own computer also now see Components of a window. See here, as discussed earlier, every program in a window OS appears in the form of a rectangular area surrounded by borders called the window. You can see here, I am opening MS Paint. I am opening MS Paint. See here. See, the application opened as a window. Isn't it? We can open multiple windows at the same time. See, I am opening MS Paint. I am also opening Word. Word. I am also opening Excel. See, multiple windows are opened. Okay, you can see here in this peak button. See, multiple windows are open. You can select any one of the window and you can work. Thus, what happens? You can, at the same time, you can work in more than one program. At the same time, you can work in more than one program okay however only one window can be active at a time I am showing you as it is in the book uh, see this is the window this is the paint window as I have opened here this is the paint window you can see here this is called the ribbon this portion of the window is known as the ribbon okay 
and this is this white portion is the is the work area where we can work where we can draw various uh, structures and color it okay now this is the vertical scroll bar using this vertical scroll bar you can move this work area up and down as well as one horizontal scroll bar is also given with the help of which you can move the work area horizontally left to right or right to left okay now first coming to the title bar you can see here this portion of the window is known as the title bar the title bar is the horizontal bar that appears at the top of the window it displays the title of the active program the program which you are operating or the or the work uh, or the uh, application which you uh, on which you are working the name of that particular application is shown on this title bar got it on the title bar there are three more options this is the minimize button this button is used to shrink an open window into a button that uh, appears on the taskbar you see i am clicking on this button this window is got shrink into the taskbar okay and again clicking on that uh, on that uh, particular icon on the taskbar you can again make it larger got it now next the maximize button this button displays the full screen view of a window as i am clicking on this maximize button it gives the full screen view of the window and last one is the close button by choosing this option by choosing this button you can close the application okay now moving on to the restore button this is the restore button the button that appears uh, when the window is maximized it changes the window to a single size see i am clicking on it it is changing the window to the single size see here is it <laughs> okay now ribbon i have told you this is the ribbon this is the work area these are the scroll bars this is the horizontal scroll bar and this is the vertical scroll bar okay now that this with this uh, it is the end of the chapter next day we will be starting with a new chapter okay till then thank you very much